Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for some prime time Saturday night Thunder Chief building action. Where else can you get this kind of action on a Saturday night? It's exciting stuff. <laughs> okay, I promised y'all I'd show you all the servo hooking up and stuff and everything. Okay, I got my rod cut. I got me a vertical slice put in it. Can you guys see that? That is for this alignment bolt we got right here. Alright. Now everything, I already took all these bolts apart and lock tightened them. Man, I took every bolt out of that and lock tightened them. You guys, you want to lock tight everything. You know what gets these jets more than anything? You know, because vibration causes screws to come out. Well, the motors don't have no vibration, like them old gas motors. But these things sitting in a trailer driving on the highway, these screws will fall out <laughs> if they are not lock tightened. Found that out from experience. Okay. Well, anyway, that slides in there now. Now I need to take servo. Got me some horns. Got me some ball links all made up. Some F old F4 parts, some of them metal ball links, ball bearings in them. Nice. So part of the F4 will live again. Okay, and these servos, we just hard mount them. No grommets. Again, no vibration. Takes all that out of it. Don't need it. That brand new 8711, bam, right there on the elevator. Bam, a lamb. You guys crack me up in them comments. Y'all was singing a song the other day. We're gonna sing that one together. Whoa, Black Betty. That's y'all's part. <laughs> Black Betty had a child. That's your part. <laughs> the damn thing went wild. Bam, lamb. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Well, we just hard mount these servos in there. Lock tight them screws. Big old washers. Just hard mount them. You know, you, these things ain't got that vibrations. They don't need to no grommets. That's what them grommets is for. Keep the vibration out of these circuit boards and these servos, but we don't have that kind of engine vibration. Driving down the road vibration don't mess with them. It just messes with screws. Especially ones that ain't all the way tight. Like my F-16, until I put Loctite on the screws, even though I loosen and tighten them, when you do that, it still makes it harder to screw it in and screw it out. So then wings, when I, uh, every time I transport it, the wing bolts would fall out because it's loose, you know? So I put some Loctite on them and they quit doing it. But I drive to the flying field and bam, there's my bolt that's be sitting on the floor. Okay. Bam. Now. Whoa, Black Betty. Anytime I say that, you, <laughs> you guys are nuts. Them stock servo horns that go with them, chuck them in the trash. I'm going to use these here because, see, I'm going to use one of them bolt holes up here. In order to get that 400 ounces of torque, you have to use the right amount of leverage. 
You know, if I was to put a great big old servo horn out here, you know, even one of these and put that on the end, well shoot, that servo ain't going to move but a little bit, and you're not, and then you got to cut your throw way down in your transplant and you're not getting, you're robbing yourself out of torque. The closer you get that to your pivot point, you know, uh, ideally, you shouldn't have to dial that much up out of your elevator. It should stay close to 100%, and you'll get that torque out of that, out of your servos. But I'm going to use this and the new batch. Oh, I can't. Okay, I've got to find my other battery. Okay, this is just one of them matchmakers. I love this thing. You guys ever run in your servos? You can use this matchmaker for that. And you can actually hear when your brushes get seated in. The servo sounds different. You just set it up like this. You set it up like that and it runs back and forth. And you can hear the difference. You, sh you should do this with all your new servos. It seats to brushes. Usually don't take long, a minute or two. and You can actually hear the difference. Well, these matchmakers are cheap and you can dial them up and down that's a JR product by the way well I don't know if it'll work on Futile or not <laughs> and then when we are ready to just uh, set up our servo See, this allows us to center it. That's got a center and click in it. And that centers the arm on your servo. So you don't have to get out your transmitter every time. And then we'll put this as close to straight up and down as we can get it. These matchmakers are cool, man. I had that for years. And, uh, Love it for setting up planes. You don't have to get a dang radio out and transmitter and all that. Well, this ain't gonna let me get straight up and down vertical. Well, let me get close. Now the rest I'll have to take out with a. Uh, The transmitter. And man, this thing is a must too. On a Metal Gear servo. This is a must. Lock tight this screw, man. Not a whole lot to where you can't get it out. That is a must. Them screws will come right out, even with that lock washer. Bam! Alright, we're jamming. Now, let's take this arm. Man, you don't look at twice. He's got them little brass deals on him, you gotta be careful of. Now, this one, we got two holes in it, we wanna go on the 
Yeah, son.